Today we're going to recap all of the Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey moments that she mentioned in her new songs about Travis on the Tortured Poets Department album. If you like this kind of content, subscribe and stay updated for more in the song So High School. Taylor mentioned the kiss, marry or kill game that Travis played back in the day when he was doing Catching Kelsey. Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Katy Perry. Kill, marry, kiss. Just the game. Uh, just the game. Uh, Taylor Swift would be the kiss. It certifies that she saw the clip and asks him this question in the song. She says she is betting on all three to be true. Then she says he gets her car door which references the famous moment that broke the internet when Travis helped her out of the car. It was their first public appearance together. He pulls her closer to him in the back seat and Taylor confesses that no one has ever treated her this way. Then she talks about the game, truth and dare and says that he knows how to play ball and she knows Aristotle referencing their complete opposite professions. Then she also tells us that Travis's friends play Grand Theft Auto while he quietly touches her not letting her go. She says you knew what you wanted and boy you got her, referencing the famous friendship bracelet incident when Travis went to her show in hopes of starting a relationship with her and it did work out in his favor. Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. comedy, all on Seeky. Okay, so you throwing Taylor Swift in there. They all, I got that $20 discount on these Taylor Swift tickets. He made a friendship bracelet with his number on it with a thought that he will give it to her. <laughs> he went to the show with the friendship bracelet in his hand and watched her perform. When the show ended, he went backstage and asked to meet Taylor. Taylor was tired from the show and told her bodyguard that she didn't want to meet anyone. She also didn't know who he was and didn't have any interest in him. The bodyguard told Travis no, and he left with a broken heart and the bracelet still in his pocket. Later he talked about it on his podcast with a sad expression that he couldn't meet Taylor. This was the first time everybody found out that he wanted to date Taylor. Went to the Taylor Swift concert. How was it? Yeah, well, I was disappointed that uh, she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. He told his brother how he made a friendship bracelet for her. So I was a little butthurt I didn't get to hand her uh, one of the bracelets I made for her. I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. Ooh, yeah. Your number's in 87 or your phone number? You know which one. Um, <laughs> she didn't want to meet me, so I um I took a personal. But the news spread like wildfire, and it reached Taylor's team. She found him to be adorable, as said by herself in her Times Person of the Year interview. She says she feels like laughing in the middle of her Eras tour practices when she remembers his impersonation of his father, which he did in New Heights podcast with his brother. Taylor talking to dad. You know, <laughs> this is a terrifying conversation. I've this picture. All he's doing is just absolutely pumping her up. He started listening to her music a little more. He started doing some stuff. <laughs> just like dad, we did. <laughs> She also asks him to tell her about the time he first saw her at the Eras Tour show. She confesses she is high from laughing at his jokes all night. In the lyrics, she also confesses that they watch American Pie together while his friends are around and she tries to hide her size because she feels like a high school girl whenever she looks at him. I just think there's something that 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 makes everyone feel like it's like the world is kind of like high school where like your most popular pop star, like beloved musician, somehow met like your most popular beloved like athlete and they actually fell in love and like it's just real anyone who like hates on it is like a bitter loser she also talks about him in the song alchemy which is also about travis she says she was in the worst state after her breakup with joe alwyn and compares it to being in a long hospital drag he pulled her out of it she says she cut off everyone else from her life and went to him she mentions they were on a winning streak and travis jokingly said it's heroin, but this time with an E referring to her being his heroine and lucky charm that made him win the Super Bowl. Then she paints the picture of the Super Bowl win with the lyric shirts off and your friends lift you up over their heads. Beer sticking to the floor. Cheers chanted cause they said, there was no chance trying to be the greatest in the league. Where's the trophy Taylor says but he just comes running over to me. Referencing the moment when Travis thanked her for coming in the middle of her world tour. Thank you for oh, coming, I cannot baby. Believe that. I can't believe you. I Thank you. Can't believe you. Thank you for the support. How do you Thank do you for that? coming. <laughs> Thank you for making it across that way across the world. You're the best, baby. Oh my god. The absolute best. Was it electric? That was the craziest oh thing I've ever experienced. Oh my god, <laughs> I am in your absolute <laughs> You are so magical. Oh, this party is about to be. How up. did you do this? How did you do? I get to do like the choice. Let me know which lyric was your favorite and stay tuned for the upcoming video in which we'll decode all the Fortnite music video Easter eggs.